Welcome back to the channel, beautiful people. It is super snowy here in Nashville, and so we've had several snow days lately, and we wanted to do an evening routine video for you guys today. This is the first routine video that we're doing for you guys since moving out to the property and into our RV, and so it's going to be a lot of fun, but we spent pretty much the whole afternoon just playing in the snow and sledding in the backyard, and the kids just had had an absolute blast. It's so beautiful, just covered in all of the snow, and so we definitely had a great day. And as you can tell, our sledding hill ends with our creek, and so Stephen and I wanted to just stand at the end of the hill and make sure no children went flying into the water. We should probably get some hay bales or something to put at the end there, but we didn't have that today, and the kids really wanted to sled, so Ah, it's just so, so beautiful. And if you're new here, we are currently knees deep in an enormous renovation project for our future dream home. Um, but it is looking really, really rough right now. Thankfully, the snow hasn't really damaged anything because we're not really keeping much of it, but it's still kind of shocking to see. So as the sun was starting to set, we decided to head inside and warm up a little bit and I was planning on trying out another new Instant Pot recipe and we've been doing a lot of those lately with all this cold and snowy weather. And since there's not a lot of space in the RV, we actually keep all of our snow clothes and boots in a plastic tub that we keep in the storage underneath the RV so that it doesn't clutter up the space inside. The kids were begging for cocoa after getting thoroughly cold in the freezing snow, so we decided to whip up a quick pot of that before I got started on dinner. And as you'll see throughout this video, Lincoln is still very much the avid foodie that he's always been. So we generally let the kids watch a little TV or a show or something just to kind of calm down and snuggle in for the evening as we kind of take care of some business, prepping dinner and taking care of things around the RV. So our RV is winterized really well, but with the temps dropping so low at night, we wanted to add some water to the water tanks before cutting it off as well as making sure that the propane was full so that we stayed warm this evening. RV living is certainly different than anything we've experienced in the past with our other homes, but it has been an adventure for sure and something we are never going to forget. And Stephen also went ahead and drained the black tanks to make sure that nothing backed up overnight. Um, but we are hard piped in since we're pretty stationary for the winter and so that keeps things pretty simple. And guys, look at the animal prints in the snow. I loved seeing those. There's never a bad time to dance with your spouse. This was really sweet. Underneath the lights, with all the snow. I loved it so much, but we did get a good laugh out of it because we realized we're just waiting for our sewage lines to drain, but it was still a very romantic moment. <laughs> And then Steven put in the new propane tank before we headed back inside to get warm again. I love, love, love these cozy little slippers that were given to me at Christmas and I wear them every single day. It was time to get started on dinner and I was trying out a new instant pot recipe this evening that looked really really good. I found it on Instagram um, from an account called The Real Foodie Dietitians and it has become one of our family's favorite new recipes so I'm going to link this below but you guys it was so delicious. It is lasagna soup and I cannot even explain how good this was. So first you use the saute option and you saute the onions and the ground beef and the garlic together until they're browned and then you chop up the zucchini and you add in all of the rest of the ingredients and you pressure cook it for eight minutes and that's it. It is so easy, so straightforward and seriously delicious. And then a 
decided to make a loaf of this bread to go with the soup and this is my favorite bread guys by a company called the essential baking company it is organic sourdough bread and it's already pre-made but you cook it for about 20 minutes it comes out of the oven chewy on the inside and crispy on the outside and it is literal perfection and guys our favorite grumpy cat miss sable was being extra snuggly this evening So we topped the soup with some ricotta cheese and a little bit of parmesan and chopped basil for the perfect touch. And I put a little extra cheese in Lincoln's bowl because he is a cheese lover, but who are we kidding? He loves all food, guys. Literally all food. As a mom, finding meals that your kids really enjoy is not only a win, but it just makes your heart so happy. bread was also a win with everyone except for with Lincoln who just wanted to have endless bowls of soup so that's okay in the words of Tabitha Brown that's his business And then mom and dad finally got to sit down and eat as well, and we enjoyed it just as much as the kids did. And then the kids were making a pallet on the floor in front of the fireplace. Um, but as you can see, there's not a lot of seating in this RV. And if you've been following us for a while, you know that we are still waiting on that long L-shaped couch that was supposed to come with the RV. And uh, so we're hoping to have that resolved. We're not giving up but it has taken quite a while to try to get that in so we've got limited seating right now but it's just making for some great snuggles and just some cozy evenings together and the kids put on some sort of harry potter trivia show and they were really getting into it so we watched that for a little bit as the kids took turns washing their bowls and so that's kind of how we spent part of the evening before starting to get ready for bed It was time to get Lincoln cleaned up and ready for bed and this RV does not have a bathtub but it does have a handheld shower head so that comes in really handy for the little ones and if you guys remember me talking about how Lincoln used to be so afraid of baths and showers four years ago when we brought him home and to see him now he has come such a long way also look at those handprints on that mirror guys that is real life with kids this is one of my favorite parts of the evening when we start to get settled in and ready for bed and you know Lincoln loves to read his books and Mr. Marty was just making himself comfortable next to us and it was so sweet. Lincoln was being so gentle which is something we've been working on and he was doing such a good job. While we 
we were doing that, the big kids started taking turns taking their showers, and we have a second bathroom in the back of the RV, which comes in very, very handy when you have a house full of kids, or an RV full of kids, rather. But um, the kids started just picking out their pajamas and settling in for the evening and being kind of silly. Ethan loves to climb up on the bunk beds, and so Jude was trying to get him down. And, you know, it's just a little crazy with seven kids in an RV, but somehow we make it all work. And I know I said we were going to settle in for bed, but that usually involves some rough housing first. Even though mom is saying for everyone to calm down, daddy is generally playing with the kids and tickling them. <laughs> They thought this was so funny. Uh, so he took turns with each of them, helping them to get their wiggles out and last little bit of energy before we went to sleep. Um, and he just took turns tossing them around. And it was really hilarious because not only did he do this with the little kids this evening, but he decided to also try to do this with our big boys who he hasn't been tossing around in several years since they are teenagers now but this was pretty hilarious to see him try. <laughs> that look on their faces just says it all. They're like, guys, our dad is crazy. And they are probably right. <laughs> but seriously, how cute is that? He was so proud. One of the boys' favorite things to do before bed is to sit by the fire and get warmed up. And Ethan was helping to blow dry his hair kind of blow drying my hair too <laughs> but it was really cute he was pretending to be Kevin from Home Alone in the mirror and then Reese was done working she's our oldest and she was able to come play with us for a little bit after finishing all of her work for the day and she's only gonna be with us for about another week or so before she moves out she's moving down to Florida and so it's super, super bittersweet, but the kids are wanting to spend lots of time with her playing since we know that she's going to be gone soon. And then each night we convert the dining table into a full-size bed as well, which is where Reese has been sleeping and Ethan sleeps with her most evenings there as well. So things will probably switch up a little bit with Reese moving out. Somebody else might take this bed. So we'll kind of see which kids might want to rearrange. But for now, Reese and Ethan are on that bed. And Lincoln wanted to read some more books with Reese. And the boys were really being funny this evening. They had found some top hats in the shed. And they wanted to show us some magic tricks. And were just being really cute and silly. So we had a few more minutes of playtime before we got ready for bed. This was hilarious. The kids were trying to throw the top hats directly on their heads, and it took a while, but they eventually got it, which was pretty impressive. And then Kira was imitating the magician from Frosty the Snowman, which is really funny, and then just doing some cute little skits, but this is pretty much how it feels most evenings as we try to get everyone settled down for bed and it just takes some time. And then I was giving Lincoln his medication for his seizures and he takes that every evening as well as every morning and he has been doing so well on his medication. We will be probably doing an update for you guys soon because I know a lot of you guys are asking about that and praying for him but we're so grateful that it's working well and then this is Lincoln's bed that he sleeps in each night it's a portable toddler bed that has a foam border 
end mattress and it's super cozy and so he just sleeps in our room with us and so we just tuck him in really good and do some songs and lots of kisses and peekaboos and all of that and Marty has been wanting to sleep right next to him most evenings which is really really sweet and then a few more kisses before we say prayers and we go out but he loves to give his enthusiastic bye like you guys know and a kiss for the camera then I'm not exactly sure what the girls were doing here but uh, the big kids usually hang out in the living room a little bit more before they all head to bed and get situated and so everyone kind of makes a mad dash to their beds and then Stephen comes in and usually will say an evening prayer as well as a goofy bedtime story and uh, all of the kids were being quite silly this evening. Miss Sable loves to sleep on the bed with Kira pretty much every night so we have one kitty in our room and one kitty in their room and Ethan was given hugs to all of the kids since he's been sleeping in the other room with Reese but everyone gives their hugs good night before we turn out the lights and then Ethan comes and gets in bed with Reese and these two have such a close bond. They are almost 10 years apart, exactly. Their birthdays are a couple of days apart, and they've always been really, really close. And so Ethan's been telling me that when Reese moves out, he's moving out with her. He told me he was going to pack a suitcase and that he would visit me from time to time, but that he was going to go live with Reese. And that just shows how close they are. So we're definitely going to have to be visiting a lot. So then Steven and I were finally able to get ready for bed ourselves and I think we were thoroughly tired by the end of this day but also just so very grateful for our family and for you guys and this has just been quite the adventure that we've been on lately but we're so glad that we can share it with you guys and we hope that you've enjoyed this little sneak peek into our evening routine lately so we love you guys and we will see you next time for your name's sake you will lead me back home to you god for your name's sake you will lead